hello friends welcome to devops training session and in this video lecture we will learn how to install tomcat 9 in ubuntu server and how to deploy a var file using jenkins into the tomcat server so i already note down all the steps to install tomcat in ubuntu server and uh, same command i will post in the description box so let's go to the terminal and install tomcat 9 so if you don't have java then this is command is used to install java 8 so in my server java 8 is already installed so i don't want to install again okay so next step is unzip plugin so we have to install this plugin in our server so the plugins is installed okay so unzip plugins install now so next step is download the tomcat so go to the temp folder and download this tomcat 9 in temp folder okay so download is done next step is unzip the tomcat fi zip file using unzip okay so it's done let's clear the screen and next step is create a tomcat directory in this location slash opt slash tomcat okay so folder is created there next step is we have to move our tomcat apache tomcat what we extract from that zip file into that location opt tomcat so the all the files present in apache tomcat folder it will move into the the destination that is opt tomcat so next is so tomcat and jenkins are running in the same port like 8080 so our server jenkins is running on 8080 so we have to change the tomcat port for changing the port we have to go to this location that is opt tomcat apache that we copied that file and in that one we have to go config and we have to go to the server.xml file so and in this location we have to go here connector and change this port to as per your requirement so i am just using 9090 and save this file after that we have to provide permission so go to the bin folder and provide this permission to all files so permission is provided now now we have two file that is present in our bin folder one is startup.sh to start the tomcat service and shutdown.sh to stop the tomcat service so let's call this so tomcat service has started we can see here it's 9090 okay so fine the tomcat is running fine click on the manager okay so 403 access deny error so we have to provide a tomcat id means username and password so let's go to the terminal and go to the config location and open the tomcat user file okay and here we have to provide role and id and password so I already define here 
so just need to be copy and paste next we have to go to in this location is web inf so copy this location and up edit context.xml so in this file we have to comment this value tab okay fine let's save this file and start the tomcat server again okay and again go to the browser click on refresh and click on manage app so it will ask the password and uh, username so that we define in tomcat user.xml folder tomcat and password is okay so it's done and if you want to see the demo so there's example there's many example present is here click on the example and click on servlet example so our tomcat is running fine so our next job is create a, a job and generate a var file and deploy into the tomcat server so let's learn how to process this okay so to deploy a war file into the tomcat server so we need a plugin that is deploy to container plugins so let's go to the manage engine option and manage plugin and search the plugin in available section is deploy okay so here we have find our deploy to container plugin so install without restart okay plugins is installed now so let's create a one java project that we have to deploy a var file into the tomcat server select freestyle okay select a git so just copy the url from the git location okay and select the build here top level maven target in this one select our maven and uh, goal is package okay and post build action once the build is generated so it generate a var file that var file we have to deploy in tomcat server so here deploy we are here at container select this option okay so we have to define file here okay so and we have to provide a path so what is our tomcat is tomcat 9 and that credential that we are set in tomcat so that we have to define is here username tomcat password and add and select here that password and provide the URL here so I am using the same server okay that's fine click apply and save and build now so our build is complete so it generate a var file and we can see here deploy to container is started attempting to deploy a var file and it's completed means var file is deployed to the tomcat server so let's go to the tomcat server and check the file present is present or not so our tomcat server is running on 9090 port 
okay so in this section we have to go manager app and yes it's deploy so our var file is here let's click on that one and it's running fine so thank you guys please like and subscribe my channel for upcoming videos